cheers to another day hi guys i'm malia welcome to my channel i call this youtube malia's private story it's gonna be me living life talking to y'all um today i'm gonna be getting ready for the gym first up cute little gym fit this is the fits first most important thing before i go to the gym is my skincare i have been using for like three or four years now is the curology concert it's, it's very gentle and she does what she needs to do next up i'm going to be using the keels this is their niacinamide serum a little asmr i love putting this on before i do any makeup because i feel like it's a really good primer like it makes it stay on so much longer for some reason i feel like it hydrates my skin without making it too dewy and oily is it just me or does it take anyone else's face like two hours or three hours to depuff in the morning like it's ridiculous puffy as hell i'm using the clarence double serum this stuff i feel like makes my skin glow another thing i like to do is add some spf this is the kosas dream beam and this gives you a nice little tint on the face there's really no white cast either like it gives you a nice glow then I'm gonna do my brows. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. I really like this. It holds my brows enough, um, especially if I'm not wearing any makeup. I like that it doesn't get crusty because I, I don't know, there's a lot of gels out there that make your eyebrows crusty, especially if you're a thick brow girly like me. Like I literally didn't fill them in at all. Don't look too close because I need to pluck them. I love having braids. Braids are so low maintenance. Um, I don't have to worry about my hair ever. I literally just wake up take off my bonnet and go. Okay, not actually, there are a few steps. I have this oil, the scalp oil, and it's from, oh my God, there's hair all over it. I use this scalp oil, it's from Oils of Africa, and this is the South Africa Protect. The way this oil smells, it's just, oh my God, it's so good. Also helps with like any itchiness because sometimes your scalp can get a little, a little itchy and it can get a little dry, um, especially around this time of year. I don't know why my scalp is extra dry recently what i like to do is put a little extra on the palm of my hand and then put it on the rest of my hair the curls that are out are actually human hair it lasts so much longer like i got these braids for coachella and i got synthetic hair for the curls and they they were busted after two days so i take this mousse this is um the shine and jam magic fingers setting mousse and lather it up and I would have just put it on my scalp. And then the excess, I just like to rake through my curls. Guys, I think next time when I get braids, I'm going to get, I always get medium knotless, but I think I'm gonna switch it up and get like extra small braids because they last longer. It's nice not having to deal with my hair. Like literally doing this every day is so simple and easy. I don't have to worry about frizzy curls or anything like that. I think too, I'm gonna add more curls next time as well. I don't know, these are cute, but I kind of want a little bit more. Like I want it to be a little bit fuller. And I'm gonna do the same blonde color and then add some brown curls as well. I'm gonna do my edges even though I'm going to sweat them out. This is the Got To Be Brow Gel, but I use it for my edges when I'm feeling lazy, which is every day. <laughs> Literally this works really well. I just make sure they look like somewhat presentable because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sweat them out so they don't need to look like perfect or anything. Now when I'm going out, that's when I'd be taking time on my, my edges. I actually get an edge brush, go crazy. But I was sad, so if you guys didn't know, so I started training. I love the workouts that he does and they're really good and I feel like I'm gonna get ripped from them. And yesterday was my first session back. I was supposed to go the day before because I felt better, but then I started my period and sometimes I get sick of my period and it's just not fun. So I texted my trainer and I was like, hey, I can't come in, like, I'm on my period. And I know I've been out for so long. And the reason I was out for so long is because I got sick for like almost two weeks. So I actually went to Vegas for the Super Bowl weekend and that was an insane weekend. I had so much fun. I took my friend Julia and it was a blast. Unfortunately for me, I got sick and I partied a little too hard in Vegas as one does and um i got sick for like two weeks so i was out of the gym for two weeks and it was torture the first week i was <sighs> it was all right um but the second week i was feeling so much better but like not good enough to go 
not good enough to be 100% in the gym, especially since the trainer's workouts are intense. Literally, I thought I was better and I went to the gym and I did like a cute little very chill workout, like literally jump roping. I did band exercises and I did an ab workout. Kick my booty. I got a migraine afterwards. <sighs> my body hates me sometimes. Which is so obnoxious because like sometimes your hormones can affect you getting migraines, which I do have hormonal problems. I have Hashimoto's if you guys didn't know. Fun facts. So much fun. I love her. Um, but Hashimoto's is like a thyroid disease and your thyroid's in your neck and it regulates your hormones. And if that's off, then you're off and you feel terrible. So that's super fun. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Last step to my routine is I obviously need lotion because I'm not trying to be ashy at the gym. That's so what I like to do is get this spray moisturizer. This is for the gym, but I have like a smell good lotion for when I'm like going out, you know? It's it's a different routine. You feel me? Anyways, okay. Shake it up. Literally spray it in my hand. You can spray this directly on your legs. But then what I like to do is... <laughs> have you guys seen the ads on TikTok for this? Because they're freaking hilarious. They're like, my boyfriend's been all over me ever since I got this oil. I don't have a man. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't care. But if it smells that good, I'm gonna get it. So I got the coconut cream pie one and I also ordered a vanilla one. Don't know when that was gonna get here because I'm a vanilla coconut girly. I love the warm scents. So what I like to do is I add a little squirt of this and I'll mix it together. And then I just, okay, lathered up. It honestly felt so good to be back in the gym yesterday. I didn't get a migraine. I was super happy, I felt really good. It was a nice little arm day and Oh my god, I get sidetracked so easily. I meant to tell you guys that I was going to go train today with my sister and I didn't book my session far enough in advance. So I went to like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night to book my session and everyone, all the spots were taken. You guys didn't know we're moving to LA in the summertime and that means we won't be able to train with a trainer anymore. And I'll probably just be doing regular workouts by myself. And I need to get that motivation back. That's obviously why we go to a trainer because like he's a lot more motivated than just me going to the gym. And sometimes I'd be slacking by myself at the gym. So I need some real self-motivation, y'all. Please send the self-motivation my way because I don't, I don't have an ounce. I can't fall off. I was off my vitamins for a little bit, which is what keeps me healthy. But when I get off my vitamins, I literally get very depressed and it's just not the vibe. So I can't. I have to stay on top of it. And usually when that happens, then I literally don't want to leave my house. And then, and then I don't work out. <laughs> so I can't, we can't do that. Guys, it's almost summer. Okay, it's almost summer and I need to get my ass in the gym. Enough stalling. I'm like, should I put on a little concealer because my under eyes? They are so dark. I'm gonna add this hourglass just under my eyes because I look scary. <laughs> this channel is literally just gonna be me. This channel is literally just gonna be me rambling. Like you guys understand me, you know? You know? We're just, we just get each other. This is so random, but I feel like I wanted to start this YouTube channel because I want, I want someone to rant to. Why is that so sad? No problem with like, I always feel like I'm an inconvenience. This is like my bad thoughts talking, but I always feel like I'm an inconvenience when I like tell people my life or like go too much into detail about myself, especially in a friend group setting. Like for some reason, I'm always like, I love listening to people and I'm always a listener friend. Like I'm always like, I'm there if you need me. Like if you need to talk, like vent to me, I don't care. Like I want to be there for you. But like every time I vent or talk about my problems, I feel like no one actually cares. And I feel like that's that's not true. That's just my intrusive thoughts getting to me. And I don't know. That's one thing I want to work on this year is just like better self-talk. Like, so you know when you notice like people aren't really like invested, like they're not like like actually listening. That pisses me off. I overanalyze and I think someone's doing that, even if they're not. Like I just overthink way too much, and that's my problem. <sighs> Who else is an overthinker because it low-key be taking over my life? Like can I just not do that? This is the Glossier You perfume. I feel like this goes with every scent possible because it matches your scent and it's very light and you just smell like a clean girl. 
And I know I'm putting on perfume before the gym, but like, what if I meet my husband at the gym? I have to smell good. That's my biggest fear is smelling, you know? <laughs> like, oh my God. Speaking of smelling, I need to brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> also too, I don't know if you guys know this or not, if you're new, but I have a shared TikTok with Mackenzie. We do so much social media together. We do, we have a podcast together. We have a TikTok channel together. Um, and we live together there, but I kind of want to do my own thing on social media as well. Like I am my own individual person. And I feel like that's something that I have like, and I know Kenzie has too, but like struggled with a little bit. A lot of people pair us together and that's because we do everything together we like are so close in age where we're kind of act like twins like she's my best friend and i love her and i love working with her but i also want to have something that's my own too and that way you guys can see like who i am individually as a person so that's why i want to make this channel and yeah now i'm ready for the gym i'm gonna lace up my shoes do a nasty booty day Y'all let me know if you want to see like my actual gym routine because I've been working out a lot more. Um, this past year, I feel like I've gained a lot of weight. I was in a relationship and you know, you know how that goes, you know, a little relationship weight. Um, but also traveling. I traveled so much last year. The most traveling I've ever done in my life. And I loved it. I love traveling. And that kicked my ass. I gained some weight. And nothing wrong with that, but I just want to get back to my original self. I feel like I've been feeling very self-conscious lately. And I just want to get back into the swing of like happy, fit Malia. Because I used to be, I used to be fit. Also too, I have done this for the past year. Just after like gaining a little bit of weight. I compare myself to my younger teenage self. Like when I was 18, 19. Um, even younger, like 16, 17. I look back on videos because I started social media when I was like 15, 16. I, I looked really good. Like I'm not gonna lie, I looked good. But I feel like I've grown up a little bit more into like my my woman body. <laughs> and I don't know, sometimes I compare myself to that. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I wish I looked like that. And I'm like, okay, no. I don't have to look how I looked when I was 16 because I was 16. And I feel like I want to be better at like accepting how I look now and still living a healthy lifestyle, so. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, like comparing yourself to your younger, your younger body. Like, I feel like I need to accept the fact that like I look different, but it's not a bad different, you know? So that's like what I'm dealing with currently. Okay, I've rambled for literally so long. I'm going to hit the gym, do my little booty workout, and um, I'll see you guys next week's video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I look cute on Instagram. And what else? Oh yeah. Subscribe. Follow your girl. Follow me on TikTok. It's gonna be Malia's private story. And I am kind of vibing with the name, you know? I feel like the name's cute. It's like, this is my life. My life. And y'all are all on my private story. If you're subscribed, like, you might as well subscribe now. So, peace.